And do you promise before God and His witnesses to love her, to honor her, to comfort her in sickness and in health? Keep yourself only to her as long as you both shall live. Yes. Kathleen and Anne, will you now take Glenn to be your wedded husband? And do you promise before God and His witnesses to love him, to honor him, to comfort him, to keep him in sickness and in health? Keep yourself only to him as long as you both shall live. Yes, I do. Marriage and the, sex, the success of marriage is not only your commitment to one another. Successful marriage is your commitment to God. From this moment on, I take you as my wife for life. I pledge to honor, encourage, and support. I promise to stand, stand by you, and lift up you. I promise to work our love and always make you a prior priority in my life. Successful marriage is not having no problems, but successful marriage is how you solve your problem. And when you put Jesus first, wala pong lamangan. You can forgive. You can accept each other. You're chasing me. I vow to honor and respect you as the head of the family, an individual, a partner, and an equal. To embrace your flaws and understanding and grace. To consider your priorities and views. To listen to your hearts in the best way I know. I will lovingly bear with you remaining true to our lifelong commitment but most 
of all, always upholding our marriage in prayer. It may seem that I always forget a lot of things, but I will never forget the kiss and the vows that we share today in this ceremony. I love you, my love, Glenn, and I always do.